You see now this. Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie Ford vs. Ferrari. Yes, this movie stars Christian Bale, Matt Damon, Josh Lucas, John Bernthal, and um, other people, lots of people, big cast. And this movie is directed by James Mangold. And this movie is the movie based on true story about how Ford challenged Ferrari and basically designed a car for them to beat them in this race. In this race, the it's not the Daytona race, it's the other race. Should have done my research. <laughs> but basically it's this 24 hour race and stuff and basically Ferrari's been the champion for like eight straight years and Ford wants to hire Matt Damon, who's actually a race car champion, and basically him to design a car for Ford and design a car to beat Ferrari's cars and stuff. And he has the help of Christian Bale, who's this driver, who's this very intense driver with this really cool British accent. And basically the two of them work together to design a car and basically work together in, you know, beat Ferrari in this race and shit like that. And also battle the company Ford itself, because Ford is a very, like, you know, stingy company. They're all about money, making money, making business, make themselves look good and shit like that. It's a very business-oriented movie. It's also a lot about racing and stuff. And it's also a character story about these two characters. This movie was absolutely sensational. I actually really, really enjoyed this film. I'm not a huge like race car, NASCAR, or Formula One racer kind of fan, but I do enjoy films like this. I, I love Days of Days of Thunder. I enjoyed um, uh, Rush. Rush was a great film, and I had a feeling I would like this movie because it just seemed like a very interesting story, and I like the cast. And it's James Bengal. Love James Mangold, whether it's Walk the Line, The Wolverine, Logan, all that shit. Like uh, even Night and Day, I, I really like James Mangold. So. Uh, I knew I'd be very satisfied with this movie, and honestly, I was more than satisfied. I actually thought this movie was fucking fantastic. Easily one of the better films of this year, which is good because I had to suffer through a lot of crap this year, and I'm finally we're getting some good shit. Uh, I had to suffer through Charlie's Angels, but this one I saw right after, and my god, was it worth it. And seeing it on the big screen in the AVX with those cars racing, whoa, the sound in this movie is incredible. The sound mixing and editing both should get nominated for the Oscars. Really well done. Cinematography was brilliant. Matt Damon, I think, is the show stealer. I think he's so good. I hope he gets some Oscar love. I think they might get it to Bale, which I get because he is also very, very good. Has the more interesting story. He actually has the character arc, which is great. He makes him more of the relatable and interesting character. But I loved Matt Damon. Like, the llama bite. <laughs> I really loved Matt Damon. I thought he stole the movie. I loved him in this movie. And the chemistry between Bale and Damon were absolutely great. They really made this movie fantastic. And there's like a fight scene between the two of them. I'm like, yeah, Batman versus Jason Bourne. <laughs> Super funny scene. Uh, and I like that. I like this movie. It has a lot of business talk and a lot of money talk. But then they just sprinkle in a little comedy in here and there. And it really makes the tone really great. And just it makes the movie go by faster and stuff. Because it's a very long film. So uh, yes, they have a lot of dialogue driven scenes. A lot of money talk and business talk. But then they throw in some comedy. And they throw in some cool racing scenes and interesting stuff. So it keeps you captivated and keeps you interested and keeps you entertained and engaged. Which is the mark of a great film. And it's all thanks to James Mangold. James Mangold really directed the shit of this film. Very well directed. Incredibly well structured film. The racing sequences are beautifully filmed. The shot composition is really well done. Very steady. No quick cuts. Quick edits. No shaky cam. Keeps it crisp and clear. The point of view of the driver's seats. The outside driving seats. The, the landscaping shots. The big crane shots over the, the, racing, uh, the racing ranks and stuff. was done very well. A lot of thought. A lot of care was put into this movie. And I can really tell. And James Mangold did a brilliant job making this film. Very well done. Editing. Top notch. The sound. Again. Can't praise the sound enough fucking fantastic. The music was really good, and the whole supporting cast. Josh Lucas was a perfect choice, playing this, like, snobby business guy. Like, that's just made for Josh Lucas. John Bernthal also gives a pretty underrated performance. Really, really good. Very well done. I forget the actress who plays Christian Bale's wife. She was also really good. Even his son, very good child performance. I think everything about this movie, which is interesting. This movie could have easily been a super boring snooze fest of a film, but it wasn't. I don't know a lot about the story, about the Ford and Ferrari star, the story, because I don't know a lot about cars and stuff. It's kind of like when I watched the movie Rush. I didn't, I had no idea who James Hunt and Nicky Lauda were, so when I watched Rush, I was very captivated and interested with the story. 
It was kind of like this story. I don't know about these characters like Shelby and stuff. Like, I don't know these people, and I don't know the story. So, watching it, like, I wanted to know where it was going. I wanted to know who was going to win the race, and I want to know what was going to happen with this guy, with this guy, with this person and stuff, with, with this girl. How did they do that? How did they do this? I wanted to know. Because I didn't know the story, and it was so engaging, and so well written, and so well paced, that I was, I was just invested. I was fully invested, right to the end, and after two and a half hours, it flew by. It flew by, and I was satisfied. Fully satisfied with this movie, and I thought it was a really, really solid flick. Easily one of the best films of the year, and yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I do feel like there will be some people who will find it boring, and not as interesting as other films, and like, I, I get it. And I know some people think they have to see this movie and they have to be a car fanatic. And I don't think that's true because I'm not a car fanatic and I still enjoy it, but I feel like some people might have that opinion, which is fine. Personally, I loved it and I definitely recommend it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give 4 vs. Ferrari a 9.4 out of 10. I thought this was solid. I had little to no problems with it. I thought it was terrific. Easily one of the better films of this entire year. So good. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Ford vs. Ferrari. So in the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite movie directed by James Mangold. Love Walk the Line, but Logan will always be his best. So yeah, what is your favorite? Comment below, let me know. And as always, like this video. Please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.